Hey everybody, today we're going to be showing you how to understand numbers. When I was in school, I had a lot of trouble understanding numbers. I had a lot of trouble understanding most things, and I still do. Things are hard when you're in school, and they don't get any easier once you're out. Some people say that your school years are the best years of your life, but I completely disagree. I would argue that every year is exactly as good as the next, and none of them are good at all. I wish I could think back on my life and find any period of time that stands out as exceptional or even tolerable, but I I can. Everything has been a brutal slog. Every step is excruciating. Every delight is fleeting at best. You might think that you're having a good time right now, but when you look back at it a few years from now, you'll find that you were just fooling yourself. Fooling yourself into thinking that the unending monotony and suffering was somehow enjoyable. It's something we all do. We all trick ourselves into thinking things are okay for the most part so we can somehow dig within our guts to find the strength to keep going. If we didn't try and convince ourselves that our unyielding pain and indescribable boredom was enjoyable, there's no way we'd keep going through this. That's life. That's what this is. Most people don't think about it, and that's fine. They're the lucky ones, if you ask me. They can just keep pretending that they're having a good time. They can smile and think that it means something. Good for them. I wish I was able to do that. I wish I'd never realized that nobody's ever happy and nobody ever will be. I wish I still believed that some things are good. I wish the person in the bathroom would hurry up. I'm recording this while waiting to use the bathroom at the gas station, and the guy in front of me has been in there for at least 20 minutes. I can hear him grunting and moaning, so I know he's still working at his task, but I really wish he'd hurry up. I've got my own suffering to dump into the toilet bowl, you know?